I think the extra weight might just knacker the motor out quicker. That's about 60 RPM at the pedals. Well, this one's heavy. This one is heavy. Right, let's get this one in there. Just there. That little edge sticking out. Greetings, it's Friday and the plan is now I'm going to test a few different motors. I uh, did have a quick look at this one yesterday and it seemed to work okay. There's the one that was thrashed a lot at the start and this one seems to be more powerful than this one. But we're going to have a little go now, I'll get the meter synced up. I have got the weight on uh, and it seems to sort of level stuff up having it on here. But we will be able to compare it with and without the weight. So let's do that. I've got three here to test. I've got a few here to test. Interesting to see the black ones, these ones seem to be the lightest, but that may be because it feels like they've got a plastic frame rather than a metal frame. There's the one that we broke the wire on, so that'll have to get fixed eventually, but that's a good uh, little challenge. But getting those screws off is going to be a job, I think. So let's get on with the bike. Between 14 and 25 watts at that speed, you can see the voltage. So let's crank it up a little bit. A little bit of rattling going on. So I'm going to mark this motor as okay. Not really great. If we get a lot more juice out of one, we can mark it as such. So I'm going to try one of these with what appears to be plastic casing. Actually, you can see through that. That's very cool. Actually see the coil in there. This one doesn't feel that easy to turn. So let's just see how it goes. I'm not expecting greatness. Mm 
I'm pedaling that fairly fast. So that one has got some power in it at 24 volts, but with my weedy legs, only about 50 watts from what I could see. So that one's going to get the below average rating. Let's get another one. Now I've got these brackets. Uh, actually fits perfectly, but it's a bit of a fanny around with my sockets that I need to weld these nuts on so that I'm not having to worry about holding this end. I'm just undoing this end. And try this one now. I'm just going to put two washers on it. That's about 60 RPM at the pedal, so we should be getting about 480 at the motor. I could have mounted this one better, but I'm still putting it in the new category of nothing to write home about. Ah, I think this one's going to be a good one because this is the, there's the first one that we thrashed a lot. This one I think is off the same hoverboard, but I haven't thrashed it as far as I can remember. So there's a time for everything. This one might be good. If this one's good, if this one's good, I'm going to look after it. I need some modification this side to make it so it's uh, in a better geometry. With this bracket of shame, 
that's uh, sitting there that is lined up absolutely perfectly as good as we can get So I'm hoping for good things from this one. Get out the way first. Again, not great. Try with the weight. I'm not sure it's going to make any difference. I may be thinking because I was using it as a 12 volt before that that's maybe why they made a lot more watts because they're hitting the load, hitting yeah, essentially hitting the load earlier on, and because it starts going so fast, it's got plenty of juice to give. With the electric bike, that has got plenty of juice to live, but momentarily can't get the mechanism working properly. Let's try this. I think we've probably got a 20% increase there by the looks of it. It's fairly easily up to the 28 volts though, which might be cool for some people. Definitely putting that one down as good, but I do believe we may find eventually that this makes double the watts at 12 volts as opposed to what we're doing, which is essentially 24 volts. But I am going to mark that as good. That one wasn't great either, so I'm going to mark it as uh, okay. And we got this one marked as nice. I've just had a good idea with this. If I could actually weld the plate that's underneath there to the arm, it's a plate that's exactly the same as this. It's exactly the same as this. So if I can weld that in there, and then it'll be way easier to align. So I may do that in the next video. That's those four tested for now and uh, I'll be making some more testing some more later on tonight so that'll probably be go, go up over the weekend so thank you very much bye for now that's 60 rpm at the pedals I'm gonna try and jack it up a bit I think that's about 80 rpm at the pedals <laughs> 